Hi Earth Signs, it's Power and Light Tara coming at you with the reading. We're going to do a reading today for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Yeah, and not in any particular order if you guys know what I mean. This is for all the Earth Signs. And the Oracle cards are here. We're going to do a Celtic Cross reading. And uh, today's just kind of doing it a little bit different today, right? And I feel like you guys are, uh, you know, moving into something really happy here. Yeah. We do have uh, a couple cards that kind of show that somebody might want forgiveness, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you may need, may want forgiveness, or somebody just kind of maybe just giving forgiveness, right? It is, uh, it is kind of a gift. <laughs> but we have the Illumination card. Somebody's figuring something out, and so, you know, it's, something's becoming clear that maybe forgiveness is needed, right? Maybe somebody realizes they made a mistake, possibly. We have this Y card over here. But interesting thing, you know, she's this lady is kind of wondering why uh, about something that probably was troubling her or something she couldn't figure out. That's why she's, you know, looking to the book, right? And the book has the wings, really, which is really interesting, right? So somebody here, uh, I feel like you guys are moving toward forgiveness and clarity, but we also have this card of the sluggard and the marker. So it took somebody a long time. It, you know, these are these are not uh, love readings, so they could be, right? But these are kind of just your energies uh, for each of you air signs. Somebody took a long time to figure something out here, the sluggard and the marker. And they might want forgiveness now. The marker is like, wow, I know, uh, I understand what that means. I understand the title it deserves, something like that. And we have the happy, happy song, and here's the, you know, the cute little fairy here, and she looks like this actress, but she's holding the balloons, and uh, the bird is there, it's the hummingbird, kind of dancing the way they spin around, and she's standing on, uh, she's standing on, like, a keyhole, right? Like, she has the key to her happiness, yes, she does, to being happy, happy, yeah. <laughs> and we have the good times card. You guys are just moving towards something really happy and good, and there's some type of clarity that you're receiving, and uh, that could be kind of uh, maybe releasing some type of sluggish energy, right? Like, wow, I understand now, yeah, okay. So let's see what we have. Sometimes we take a while to figure things out. That's just the way life is. It's called learning and evolution, right? I feel like it is. We have the Three of Wands for you guys. Mm -hmm. The Two of Cups. Wow, this is, uh, I feel like this is about love. It is. We have, it doesn't have to be though, you guys. Sometimes this is a partnership, like sometimes it is a work partnership, the Two of Cups. Yeah, it can be like a truce. It can just be like, uh, you know, you have illumination here and forgiveness. There could be a truce here. It doesn't mean necessarily that you guys are... You could be coming together with somebody for sure, with the happy, happy, and the good times. You really could be, be be coming together with them. But sometimes this is just forgiveness for the hell of it, right? Like to kind of move on in life. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, so I feel like in this reading, you guys, this could, be, uh, this could possibly be a love reading. Um, the Four of Pentacles is showing up. This could be money, but I feel like this is kind of... Uh, it can be, you know, you're holding on to somebody, earth signs, right? Yeah. So here we have, in the heart of the matters, the three of wands and the two of cups. Somebody has some type of a vision. I feel like it's for, to be, I feel like it's for a couple. Mm -hmm. King of wands is here, earth signs. So this is, uh, it is Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And then we have the high priestess over here. This could be a Piscean or a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have in the heart of the matter. Let's see what we have for the earth signs. We have the king of pentacles. So that's, uh, you know, either one of you guys, right? Some readers will say that, you know, the king of swords is just, uh, I know we're not talking about the air, uh, the air signs right now, but some people say that the king is just one uh, kind of like the king, like this king of wands could just be Leo. I don't really believe in that. I feel like the king of, the king of any, uh, pentacle here is e either sign, right, within that element. Yeah, for sure. So here you guys are, the king of pentacles. You have a vision here for a union that you want. This is, for me, this is about a union, uh, but it could be maybe about a career, but I just feel like it is with this kind of happy, happy, 
Mm -hmm. And the Two of Cups, the second card in the reading. I feel like it probably is. So let's see what we have here for the Earth signs. Mm -hmm. And the Hermit. So, you know, this could be you guys are uh, completely soul-searching. And this is Virgo. I, I beg your pardon, too, right? This could just be that there is a Virgo here. This is a reading for the Earth signs. Yeah. Somebody could be soul-searching here, possibly. Somebody could have, uh, you know, maybe there was soul surging at the heart of the matter because the illumination card is here, which is like I have been, you know, completely enlightened. <clears throat> I have my clarity and the, the, you know, it's been illuminated, right? Let's see what else we have. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles now. So here is, you know, this could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn right here. The Hermit, the King, and the Queen, right? Could be, I mean, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, we have the King of Wands, and this is coming... This is your highest expectations. So you guys look like you want maybe an, uh, fire, a fire sign here. Maybe it's this uh, water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. And then we have the Ace of Wands reversed. So this is your highest expectations. So you guys are wanting something. You guys want some type of a passionate opportunity with somebody. Yeah, you do. The Ace of Wands is reversed. Can mean a few things can talk about this is coming into play. It's coming, but, uh, you know, it's coming kind of sluggishly. We have the sluggard right here. And in this reading, somebody figured out later on or later into the game, this doesn't have to be you guys. This could be the person you're dealing with, right? Somebody is figuring out later in the game. This can be about two things. It can be about forgiving somebody to move forward with them. And it can be about forgiving somebody to just kind of let them go. But it doesn't really look like that so much because it looks like somebody realized uh, how somebody fits into their life or what role they play for them, the marker, right? It's when you get your Sharpie out and you, you, know, you write on the box when you're moving. My blender's in that box, and uh, my hair straightener's in the other box. That other box is more important, right? <laughs> so the marker, you guys. <laughs> the marker. Somebody figured out what they want. Yeah, they did. And, you know, we have good times and happy, happy. So, you know, this is like a celebration here. These people are uh, at a dinner, and they have, yeah, they're at a dinner, and they have the... I don't know if it's a chopstick or a toothpick, but this looks like there is a cocktail here as well. Mm-hmm. And let's see what else we have for you guys. Coming into play is the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups reversed. This could be, you know, I just feel like uh, coming into play, there's there's a water sign here uh, and a fire sign maybe. Mm-hmm. But this could be, you know, also maybe you're holding on to some money here. Uh... Let's see what else we have. You guys are holding on to some money. But I feel like this has to do with, uh, it could have to do with money and, uh, and love too. Because we do, uh, we have a fair amount of pentacles here. Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. So here's the King of Wands here. There could be a Sag in this reading. We don't see Leo and we don't see Aries as of yet, right, in terms of these. And this is, I feel like somebody's holding on to something here and it's faded. Let's get one more card here. Wow, this is a, a trip reading. I feel like it is Five of Cups. Okay, so this is way over here. I don't feel like this is your sadness, Earth signs. There's some type of grieving here going on. This is not your sadness. It has to do with this King of Cups reversed. You know, it's possible here. You could be forgive. It's just you could be forgiving somebody uh, because. I just feel like this is somebody else's energy down here. I don't feel like this is your guys' energy. Uh, like somebody that you are involved with here, right? Right away we have the Two of Cups. So we know that this is about love. Pretty sure. We have the, uh, here we have the High Priestess, the Page of Cups. And this is energy leaving, leaving you and justice. Okay, so this could be a Libra here. Mm -hmm. This is about the truth. Somebody has the truth here, and this is why somebody's grieving. Somebody, I feel like somebody knows somebody wants to forgive you guys, or you want to forgive somebody, and somebody else is grieving that forgiveness. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Mm -hmm. That's why we have this one, there's only one negative card here. Well, the sluggard is kind of a negative card. It is somebody who just kind of 
takes forever to kind of get off, off, off the couch and make up their mind about things. Uh, but the why card is here, and this is the ladies asking questions. She's, you know, she's uh, referring to the book or consulting the book here, right, for the answers. Like, we, we look for knowledge in books. I feel like we do. I hope we still do, right? <laughs> and then we have the, uh, you know, we have the wings here. So she wants to know why something is taking off or why something is in flight. I feel like she wants to know that. And so she's opening up the book for the answer. I just feel like there could it's possible there are three people here. Mm -hmm. Because somebody's holding on to you, uh, Earth signs, or you are holding on to somebody. And I feel like it has to do with this King of Wands here. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. Maybe it's the King of Cups. It could be. We have the King of Cups here, the Nine of Swords reversed, and the Nine of Pentacles. And this is, you know, I feel like you guys are wondering if somebody might be might be coming single here but even if you are wondering that or not even if you uh you look like you might have been worried here or you you guys have suspicions here even if you were not you're just moving into good times here whether or not you're forgiving this person to to stay with them or you're forgiving this person to move on yeah but you guys are moving into happy times here happy happy and good times and so how other people are affecting you guys is the Seven of Wands. And then we have the Ace of, uh, we have the Star card. So you're overwhelmed. You guys want to heal something with somebody. That's what you guys want. Yeah, that's why the Ace of Wands is reversed here. The Seven of Wands down here. You, you Earth signs want to return to somebody. And you could be doing that. You really could. For some of you guys, will forgive this person and return to them, or they will forgive you. But the answer is coming here, regardless of whether or not you are forgiving them, or you're going to stay with them, or forgiveness and moving on. Because the illumination card is here, so this will be really clear very soon. You guys could have thought, for some of you guys, you could have thought that you were lied to by this person in the past. Or misled. Yeah, misled might be a better word. So how you are affecting other people is the Four of Cups. This is how you guys are affecting other people. Four of Cups, Two of Wands. This person, it's possible, for me, this is, this is a choice, the Two of Wands. Uh, I feel like you are making somebody choose, kind of. Like, whoever this other person is, is making some type of a choice. We have the sluggard and the marker. I feel like, but I feel like this person was slow to understand the situation, or understand the title they want to give the earth signs. But it's clear here, the illumination card is here. So they know their answer now. And this Y card, you know, this could be a, this could have been them, maybe seeking, seeking answers. But somebody could somebody's like bored here or unhappy in a situation or feeling taken for granted. I just feel like this is going to go away. And your hopes and fears for the Earth signs is going to be the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you guys want to reunite with somebody. The outcome is going to be the Seven of Swords. Let's see what that's about. OMG. It is kind of like the, the ladron, the robber, right? The thief. And the death card. So for me, this is somebody uh, escaping from a situation and there's an ending here. But I don't feel like this is your ending, Earth Signs. No, I feel like this belongs to somebody else, right? I feel like it does. Maybe this fire sign, maybe this water sign. Because you guys are here... The King of Wands is here, and the King of Cups is here. For me, these are, uh, you know, you're dealing with a fire sign, and there could be a water sign here as well. This could also be, you know, there, for somebody, there could have been fear in the past. Fear or some, or some type of trickery as well, because the Seven of Swords is in the reading, right? It doesn't matter if it's up here or wherever. Uh, it's still part of the storyline. 
the sluggard and the marker, you know, somebody was really slow to understand the role they played or the role they wanted maybe you guys to play. So with that being there, you know, maybe they were in fear as well. The King of Cups sometimes is fearful in the reverse about love. We're going to end this reading, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like good times are coming. God bless you guys. And I'm going to be going live uh, this Saturday night. It's going to be at 6 p.m. if you guys want to join me. Thank you so much for joining me here. And uh, for any newbies, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and there is no link for, there is no extended uh, for this reading. No, there's not, you guys. Thank you so much.